On this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to install an angle stop on this copper line. Some people call this a water shutoff valve or also an angle valve, whatever you want to call it. And also, I'm going to show you how to replace one in case yours breaks or starts leaking. So make sure you stay tuned. Hey there friends, welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. Welcome back to my bathroom renovation series. We are coming close to finishing this bathroom and we're just starting to do some plumbing. We're also also ready to install this toilet. That's why we're ready to put on this angle stop so that we can attach and supply water to our toilet. So if you wanna follow on to this bathroom renovation series, check out my other videos. I'll leave the link up here. Check those out after you watch this video. But with that being said, let me show you how you can easily install this on this copper line. I have a half inch copper line coming through here. This is reserved specifically for this brand new toilet that we're ready to install right here. We're just waiting for this water source. And I also have a few of these same ones over there that's ready for the vanity after we install the sink. So stay tuned for that video. So you have a few options. This one I'm gonna be using a compression valve, meaning that it's gonna required to have a compression ring that we're gonna go th that's gonna go through this copper line. It's a half turn shut off or there's also a different design for this. There's many different ones. There's also the old school one where you keep turning to shut it off. I really don't like those. I like it to make it nice and simple. They're pretty much the same. This is gonna be going to a half inch non-comp inlet. Okay, and it's gonna be for the 3 8 OD which one you choose it doesn't really matter this one's going to be for compression that's why it has the compression ring installed and it's super easy so first thing you need is some sort of bucket i'm just going to use this mini bucket to drain out the water once we cut out that pipe we have a little small pipe cutter this is made for copper steel and for other metals as well so it goes up to 5 8 inch diameters two adjustable wrenches inner and outer reamer so this is after we make the cut so we take out all the burrs we got a little bit of uh, sandpaper here so just in case this is good for the older pipes but since it's brand new we're still going to scuff it up make it nice and clean also we need the plate more important you need the compression valves again if you need any of the tools including these ones that i use within this video i'll leave all the links on the description down below first step is make sure you shut off the main water line to your house so after you shut off the main water from your water line go to one of your sinks and turn it on and let all that water drain because if you don't once you cut this open you're going to have a lot of water start piling into this bucket and you might have an overflow situation let's put our plate this is a half inch plate it's going to go over i'm not going to cut the copper all the way here like some people do i'm going to cut it around right this area i want to leave some copper for the next homeowner just in case they want to do some renovations or they want to change it up a little bit make sure that they have something to work on just to save them so take that into consideration when you're cutting your pipes we're just going to turn it So we're getting close like so and just like that comes out take your reamer use the inside so just take off the the burrs and then for the outside or you can use this tool as well So take that nut, insert it first, then take your compression ring or your ferrule ring, take your angle stop, take one of the crescent wrench, hold on to this. One last important tip before you turn on your main water and you have nothing connected here make sure you put it in the off position first because once you turn that on and it's on this thing's just going to start spewing out okay so after install put it on the off position so now that i showed you how to install it let me show you how to remove it just in case somewhere down the years it starts leaking or you just want to replace it to a brand new one first things first again make sure you turn off or shut off the main water supply in your house 
go to your sink, drain out all the water in the house, then you can start working on this. Just break the connection. Like so. Expects to have some water dripping in there, so just make sure that your bucket is ready. This ferrule ring right here, it is stuck. It's hard to take out. So what do you do? How do you take out that ferrule ring or that compression ring off this copper pipe? What we're gonna use now is our compression ring puller. It comes in three pieces. You have the puller, this gold piece, like so, and you have this little piece right here. So this is very important. What you wanna do is you wanna insert this on the inside of this gold tube, like that. The purpose of the silver piece is that when you insert it through here, it acts as a stopper. Insert it through that gold piece, put it through here. You're gonna screw this on like that. You take your piece, your puller, insert it through that gold, And now you're just gonna keep twisting this until you feel resistance and you're gonna slowly see it getting, that ring getting pulled out of there, okay? So just keep turning this. Okay, so there you go. Keep turning. If it's getting too tight, here's a little tip. Take your crescent wrench and use that to turn it. That thing's in there tight. Oh yeah, it's pretty tight guys. And now it's nice and loose. And we got the ring out. So notice how if you follow where the dark thread is, notice how far it traveled on the threads. That's about how many turns it took me to take out that ferrule ring, disassemble that nut. So it's, there you go. That ferrule ring compresses this pipe a lot and it decreases the size of the pipe. You don't wanna reuse this. Once you take out the old ferrule ring, this has to be thrown away. So once you change them out, you might as well just buy a brand new one. Back again, let's cut off this pipe. There you go. So let's install this new angle stop. This plate's worn out, replace it, put a new one. The nut first, take your ferrule or compression ring in. Make sure you put it on the shut off position. So there you have it friends, that's how easily you can install these angle stops, water shut off valve or angle valve, whatever you wanna call it. That's how easily you can install them and how you can easily repair them if they do start leaking later on in the future. Again, key tips for this is that make sure that you leave enough copper if you're doing brand new. Don't take out so much because later on down the road, the next homeowner or whoever's gonna be working on your leaky pipe is gonna be thankful that you left that much copper that's left over. Notice how much that the ferrule ring compressed and decreased the size of that copper pipe. Going through all the repairs that your house is gonna go through over the years, is gonna keep receding back. So make sure you leave enough for future repairs. Okay, friends, so if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section down below. Share with the community if you have any other suggestions. Again, this is for the compression angle stop version only. There's shark bites, there's other ones where you go and weld it in, um, but that one is gonna be for a different video. This was just showing you how to use it for a compression angle stop valve. Okay, friends? So thank you so much for watching this, friends. Make sure you stay tuned for this bathroom renovation series. It's gonna almost come to a close. I'm gonna be showing you the whole bathroom transformation. But with that being said, if you found this video super helpful, please hit that big thumbs up, press the subscribe notification bell. And if you're interested on any of the tools that I use within this video, I'll leave all the links on the description down below. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next video.